What I'm doing here is I'm checking the turbidity or how cloudy the water is. I fill the tube with water and I can continue to dump a little bit of water out until I can see the black dot at the bottom of the tube. I do this three times and then I take the average. Next I'm going to check the diversity of the macro invertebrates that are in this river. I'll take this net and I'll secure it on the bottom of the riverbed. And then I'll get upstream from this net and I'll start to kick up the rocks, the silt on the bottom of the river. The goal is to try to, to kick this up and the water will take those that I stir up into the net where they get caught in the net. You can see the water starting to turn brown from me kicking this up. There are rocks on the base, bottom of this river, but under the rocks it, it is silt. I try to make sure that the net stays up so that the animals do not uh, go over the net and out the other side. The reason I checked the, the diversity of the macroinvertebrates in this river is a healthy river, some macroinvertebrates cannot live in polluted water. So if I find some of these that are, uh, cannot live in polluted water, then that will tell me that the river is healthy. But if those sp uh, specific macroinvertebrates are missing, then that could be a sign that there is problem in the water. Some that show good signs are your helgramites, your water pennies. We have some crayfish there. You can see some water pennies on here. Some of them are really small. The camera may not be picking them up, but there are quite a bit of uh, things within here. We get snails. Uh, oh, we get just a little bit of everything. Dragonflies, riffle beetles. There's all kinds of stuff in here. And like I said, if we find some of the macroinvertebrates that uh, cannot live in polluted water, then that goes to sh that tells me that this is a healthy river. And if this is something that would interest you, you can always check with your local Department of Natural Resources, uh, EPA, and many of those have stream quality monitoring programs where you can participate and do this. 